Netflix used to ask its users what kind of movies they wanted to watch. But studying their data, the company realized that it was completely a waste of time. When people are asked what they want to watch on the weekend, their choices usually are very aspirational. They want to watch documentaries on history or highbro art movies. But when the day comes around, they wind up watching the same spicy action thriller or a mass market comedy series. Oh, really? <laughs> So Netflix realized that they would ignore what people are saying and just focus on their algorithm to figure out what they actually want to watch. What is interesting about this is that people are not lying to Netflix when they're asked these questions. People genuinely do aspire to watch those highbrow films. It's just that big data is more efficient in understanding our behaviors. In a way, big data understands us more than we understand ourselves. Anything anybody does is going to have some predictive power for other things to do. Seth Stephens, a former data scientist at Google in his book Everybody Lies: Big Data, New Data and What the Internet Can Tell Us About Who We Really Are, talks about a very fascinating study. Researchers used Microsoft Bing data to look for people who searched for diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and then similar people who never made that search. and they looked at all the health symptom searches that they made in the lead up to the diagnosis or no diagnosis they found that there were very clear patterns of symptoms that were far more likely to suggest the future diagnosis of pancreatic cancer for example searching for indigestion and then abdominal pain was evidence for pancreatic cancer while searching for just indigestion without abdominal pain was much more unlikely to have pancreatic cancer One way to understand people to know what they're interested in or are thinking is to do a survey to actually ask them different questions but we all know that people lie people can't answer certain questions even to their loved ones this is where big data becomes very interesting things that people might not ask their friends family or doctors they ask google The data scientists at Google study these search data and the result is something that seems very different from what we generally tend to believe of humans. They have used this data to understand suicide. It's been found that one can predict how many suicide there will be in an area based on Google searches. So when more people are searching how to commit suicide or how to kill yourself, it turns out that there will be more suicide in that area. One can also use it to understand why people think of suicide. Data on what do people search before they look for information on how to commit suicide gives an insight on why people are suicidal. It is found that 40% of people before they search for suicide search for some health condition before. So health seems to be a big reason, more than financial problems or relationship problems, and the number one health problem that causes suicidal thoughts is depression. As human behavior is extremely complex, it is no surprise that many existing findings in the fields of psychology and medicine are conflicting. The more data we collect, the better our understanding of human behavior will be. Instead of relying on theory-driven methods, as often the case in psychological studies, big data approaches can drive discovery and let new theories arise directly from it. The sheer volume of data available on the internet is immense and finding a way to utilize the available data to understand market trends and customer behavior is an efficient application of the collected data. Furthermore, the data is analyzed and used to predict different market and customer trends. Every time we type into a search box, we reveal something about ourselves. As millions of us are searching for questions or things to buy places or to meet friends, Our searches produce a map of our collective hopes and desires. Big data analytics and strategies are made accordingly to provide a personalized experience for the customer. But there are potential downsides to the collection and use of big data. Technological experts and civil libertarians have consistently warned about security issues and big data privacy risks. If you use a wearable like a smartwatch that counts your heart rate, But if you use Netflix to watch a show, each of these activities leave a digital trail of data, which is collected for analysis. Every major corporation, such as Facebook, Apple, and Amazon, use big data analytics to collect and analyze our data.